by Gift Theory the political evolution in Zimbabwe, particularly the dethronement of autocrat Robert Mugabe, has raised a discourse on the legitimacy of the Zimbabwean army's Operation Restore Legacy, because it involves the overthrow of a democratically elected president. Contemporary political debates, both within Zimbabwe and around the world, revolve either around support for the army or condemnation for its role in the ouster of Mugabe. Some back the actions of the military arguing that citizens craved for the exit of a brutal dictator by any means necessary, but were powerless to get rid of him because of the same military junta that callously quashed any signs of rebellion or anyone contemplating change of Mugabe regime, whereas those who criticize and oppose military involvement remind the public that if a government can be removed the way we did it, then there is a snowball's chance in hell that we can expect any form of foreign direct investment. Judge President George Chosh claims the military intervention was legal. The MDC alliance that deposed testimony before the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee on Africa Policy last week described the military intervention as an illegal and illegitimate transfer of power from one faction of the ruling party to another. But how does Emerson Dambazo Nangagwa become illegitimate especially after the impeachment process, Mugabe's resignation, and the kicking in of Schedule 6 of the Constitution? The MDC alliance was a cheerleader. During Operation Restore Legacy which sought to overthrow Mugabe it also participated in the sanitization of the military intervention, in essence by going into a temporary alliance with SANU-PF to impeach Mugabe, the MDC alliance sought expediency and at the same time unintentionally sanitized the coup. The moment Mugabe resigned it rendered everything before a mere academic debate and shifted the levers of transition 100% in ZANU-PF's domain. This is where Schedule 6 kicked in and legitimized Namagwa. In any case, what was Morgan Changarai, the head of MDC Alliance, doing in blue lights for that matter, at the inauguration of an illegitimate leader? So, to close this debate, Namagwa is legitimate by operation of the law and constitution. He can't be illegitimate because the MDC alliance no longer like him after he refused to infuse opposition faces into his government as well as the tried and tested leadership of Changarai which brought about massive economic turnaround for the period 2009 to 2013 after several years of misrule. Legitimacy is not based on what we like but by the spirit of the sovereign will. Zimbabwean citizens overwhelmingly supported the military-engineered ouster of Mugabe, concomitantly with Grace Mugabe. Zimbabweans overwhelmingly voted, yes, in the 2013 referendum for the current constitutional setup that brought in Namagwa. Let us drop this illegitimacy record and compose other songs. However, my problem with Ed is that he is hostage to the military establishment, the very same men who gave him power. None of the fundamental promises made by ZANU-PF to Zimbabweans during Operation Restore Legacy were fulfilled. The promises were broken when the party took over the presidential office. Similarly, they also promised the Zimbabwean people that they would form an inclusive transitional cabinet but this also turned out to be an empty promise. The very faces and leadership of the AKU have promoted themselves into echelons of state power as cabinet ministers. How will the same untouchable thieving old guard aided by partisan securocrats cause genuine reforms that will lead to free and fair elections given their entrenched interests and power privileges? Already, the war veterans and chiefs have pledged to bolster ZANU-PF's 2018 re-election bid. Look at the rights record of the new ZANU-PF political commissar in the meantime, the economy is screaming, with prices of basics skyrocketing. Cash shortages continue. The three weeks this regime has been in office has shown us it is not there to complete Mugabe's term of office but to consolidate power. Daily News